We've got some breaking news we're following out of the UK. Apparently, there's been some type of incident outside Parliament there. Eyewitnesses, uh, the wires are saying, reported that they heard something that sounded like gunfire. There is very much we don't know, except for that there is a bit of chaos there. Let's go to Greg Palcott. He is in London following the story. Uh, what can you tell us, Greg? We've been watching the latest uh, news, and the latest news seems to be that some kind of a gun, gunman outside of the Houses of Parliament has been nailed by the police, has been shot. The, the uh, session of the House of Commons, uh, the UK Parliament, what was going on at the time. Uh, politicians inside uh, that, uh, that uh, august chamber heard at least one large blast, maybe more, outside. And uh, we got reports then of uh, at least uh, two people being injured, maybe as many as six, in the vicinity of the Westminster Bridge. This is the bridge that crosses the Thames just right next to the Houses of Parliament. And uh, then we got word more of uh, police activity on the ground. Also, helicopters uh, uh, above the area and uh, police uh, closing in on the individual, the armed individual, and it appears that he has been shot and he's being treated right now in Parliament Square, which is right across the street from the House uh, Houses of Parliament. From uh, I guess uh, our American viewers best know that as Big Ben, uh, the Tower of Big Ben, which is next to uh, the buildings where the uh, UK government uh, convenes. It is on lockdown right now, as is the uh, office buildings surrounding this. Imagine that something happened right across the street from the Capitol and all the uh, office buildings of the uh, House of Representative members as well as the uh, senators were all shut down. So this strikes at the very, whatever is happening strikes at the very core of, of the government here in the UK. Again, we have no information about who is behind this, what the motivation is, whether it is just a, somebody a bit deranged or somebody with, with a mission. Uh, there have been no reports of anything shouted, for example. In fact, it's all quite sketchy. But that scene right now is on lockdown. That is inside the building and outside the building. We know from all of our time down there at that, around that area, that the security is very high. That's my colleague uh, Baz here says, boy, if you're going to pick something uh, tricky, maybe even terroristic, Although we don't know whether it is or not, that's the wrong place to do it because you got a lot of police, you got, got a lot of security, and you've got a lot of focus on that area. But right now, what we're hearing about is this one more time uh, some kind of blast, some kind of fire, maybe, maybe something that sounds at least like gunshots heard outside of the building of the Houses of Parliament, and that the Houses of Parliament on lockdown right now. Uh, several people, according to reports, injured. The possible gun possibly injured, a police uh, uh, zeroing in on him now in the, uh, the uh, square, Parliament Square that is right across the street from that building. But again, the very center of London, the very center of British government, uh, a, scene of, a bit of scene of chaos right now. Back to you, Shannon. Yeah, Greg, Eric, Sean here. Certainly, as you say, no indication yet, of course, this is so early, if this indeed is a terrorist attack. But Parliament, did you know, Westminster, uh, highly visible a representation of the institutions of the West and London, and this, in a way, perhaps could uh, echo that 2014 shooting attack in Ottawa. And the parliament there, that was a radical Islamic uh, terrorist attack, when a gunman got inside and had uh, a, a firefight with security officers. Yeah, Eric, there's no indication that this uh, gunman actually got anywhere inside the building or even inside the perimeter. All the activities seem to be outside, and in fact, uh, some of the focus seemed to be on the bridge just adjacent to the Houses of Parliament uh, there at Westminster, uh, and it could be that something happened outside the building, and then he tried to flee. There were more gunshots, but again, police very quick to the scene, uh, police on the scene uh, on, on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, extra security on the scene, helicopter at the scene, and again, mm -hmm. it appears that the gunman involved could be uh, in the, in, if not the custody, or in the treatment of the police right now. Back to you. All right, Greg Palcott, thanks so much.